First of all, let me say Happy Thanksgiving, and if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, I have no idea what other holiday that you're celebrating, so, um, Happy Thanksgiving. Bean and I just wanted to make a Thanksgiving-themed video this week because it is Thanksgiving, and we decided to do something completely different, kind of like a, a DIY kind of a video, so that you can decorate your house for Thanksgiving. I mean, obviously, you guys have probably already some of you eaten your dinner and, um, you know, decorated already, but for those of you who haven't, maybe this is some last minute, like, setup you can do. Or you can save this for next year, come back and watch this video again. But these are some of our Thanksgiving ideas and tips for you. So we hope you enjoy. Alright, so welcome to my fall DIY decorations video. You'll learn how to decorate your house for fall or Thanksgiving or just really any fall holiday. Alright, so I just got these window clings from Walmart for $79.95. If you can't find them at your Walmart, you can always make them by melting down some plastic, adding some color, and spreading it out in a thin layer on maybe a sheet of wax paper. It's really easy to do. Now we're just going to take all this off so that I can show you what to do. All right, we're just going to take the small little leaves here, um, and we're just going to place them randomly. Uh, I like to place them on top of each other to represent the fall leaves falling onto the ground. You know, they just fall naturally on top of each other. We're just going to place them randomly anywhere you feel is good. Just on top of each other or anywhere, just, just really anywhere you want to put them. It's on the window. Oh, if it falls, just, you know, put that Put that up there and just put it up there. Okay. All right. Uh, we're just gonna place any of these. Okay. Put it on the other side. Okay. We're good. All right. We're just gonna put the um, center of attention. Welcome fall. Little cling on in the middle. Um, I like to leave a little part hanging off to represent the leaves flowing in the wind. And I like to just smooth everything out to make sure it just all sticks really well. Just have it all stick. Don't just smooth it out and if it falls, it falls because it's fall, you know, it's just gonna fall. All right, well, that's how you make your, um, your windows look very fall festive. All right, this is just another fall decoration you can have around your house. Um, so we're just gonna take some leaves that, um, you can either buy one at Walmart or you can just go out in your front yard and string up some leaves. Um, to make a garland and we're just gonna we're just gonna place this like uh, a leaf pile you would see somebody had raked up and we're just gonna mash it down so it looks really real All right and I have these turkey candle holders that I made um, I just made them out with clay and uh, painted them and I, I put that sticker on there don't worry about that uh, that's okay um, and then I just I just made this candle also um, I just melted out the wax and uh, got some coloring and I, I made it so that it would fit inside of my turkey here. Um, we're just gonna put that in there, perfect fit, and we're gonna put him facing away because turkeys are known to hate Thanksgiving because that's when they die. So he's scared and facing away. We just got a duplicate here that we're just gonna put on the other side the same way, facing away because they both don't like Thanksgiving and they're scared. And I'm just gonna flip this one upside down just to keep the creativity flowing. Next, we have this little basket here. Um, it's really cute, I made it. I painted on Happy Harvest because Harvest is very happy. And we have these little pumpkins here that you can buy at Walmart for like a dollar a piece. Um, and I filled this up with potpourri so it keeps smelling nice all throughout the fall season. Um, and I'm just gonna place it on top of the leaf pile and smash it down so it stays flat and doesn't fall. All right, and we're just gonna take one of the pumpkins out and set them on the side, you know, just to shake up the creativity again. And that's how you make your fall decorations just anywhere around your house. All right, so we're just gonna head over to Jonathan because I believe he has a few ideas he wants to share with you as well. All right, thanks, Siobhan. Now over to my portion of the video, which is probably the best portion. Shh, don't tell Siobhan that I said that. Today we're going to make some festive drinks. And what I mean by festive, I mean Thanksgiving drinks because the holiday season has not come yet. It's still Thanksgiving. Okay, now first, you're just gonna need to uh, uh, put a pot on the uh, stove, yes? And then you're gonna have 
um, one can of Red Bull, just one. Don't add two, don't add one and a half, don't add less than one. One entire can of Red Bull. If you don't add the whole can, then the recipe will not work, okay? Just one can, you're just, you're just gonna dump it in there. Okay, yes, yeah, very good. Oh, okay, making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all for the good of crafts. Oh, 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 I mean, ah, uh, crap. I dropped it. I just grabbed it. Okay, yeah, great plan. All right, now we're just gonna speed forward and wait for this thing to uh, start boiling. You want to do is you want to get all of the water. You want to evaporate all of the water from the Red Bull, so you're just left with a concentrated syrup of sugar, okay? Yep, you're just gonna give this a nice little stir. Okay, very nice. Just getting there, another stir. Once it gets to a boil, it seems it's pretty nice, it's got a thick consistency. Uh, this is a Thanksgiving drink after all, so we're going to add one can, uh, yes that's right, one entire can of pure pumpkin. The entire can, not a half can, not a little bit more than a can, don't you dare open two cans. It's going to be one whole can. Okay, there you go, you just got to scoop it in there, alright. All right, you just got to scoop it in there, alright. Perfect, perfect. Now you're going to turn down the heat a little bit. Give that a nice little stir so that the pumpkin incorporates with the syrup. All right, wait till that starts to boil. You'll hear the pops. And then you're gonna add uh, uh, two cups of water. Yes, two cups of water, all right? All right, yeah, give that a stir. Very nice, this is looking very festive. It smells like festive. All right, we're just gonna serve it up. Okay, so now be careful when you pour this because we don't wanna spare any of it because it's too delicious to uh, waste any of it, okay? Uh, you're just gonna serve this warm in a glass. Uh, warm like hot pumpkin. Uh, you know, it's, uh, again, since I mentioned this is a uh, festive Thanksgiving drink, uh, after all, we already added the pumpkin. Uh, you're going to add uh, one can, yes, that's right, uh, one pure can of uh, pure clear cranberries. Yes, now the carbonation, I guess, is just an added side effect for it being 100% pure. Uh huh. Yep, oh, oh look, oh, it's very festive. Oh, can you hear it? Oh, it's like a symphony of festiveness. All right, then you're just going to uh, stick a straw in there because after all, we're very fancy and this is a festive drink after all. Okay, uh, and then you just watch as the uh, drink does not want to be consumed because it wants to stay alive forever. And yes, it kind of does have a mind of its own and it rejects the straw. All right, and that's how you make a very, very festive drink. All right, then this next thing that we're going to make is not really more of a drink, but I mean, it, it is liquid at one point in its life so I, I guess it's uh, kind of considered a drink but anyway we're going to take uh, some, uh, we're gonna take some jello for this one we're gonna use some strawberry jello because I like strawberries and well who doesn't like strawberries and if you don't well then you're not very festive all right now the whole goal here is to cut the tops of the strawberries off okay and then you're gonna cut a little bit of the bottom off just so it's a flat surface and you're just gonna take this melon baller I think it's called you just take the melon baller you stick it in the strawberry okay just like this and you're just going to take the inside of the strawberry out. Be very careful not to get the sides and the bottom. Just want it to be a hollow shell. It'll look kind of like, like this once it's done. Alright, now once you have all those done, uh, we're just going to take our jello that we already made and we're going to uh, dump it into our strawberry shell. It's very nice, very nice. This is good enough. Now we're just going to take them and we're going to put them in the freezer and let them sit about four hours. Now I'm just going to skip forward to Siobhan and while Siobhan's doing her stuff, I'm going to make another one except with strawberries. I will be using lemon. So lemon jello and lemon shells. All right, Siobhan, now back to you. Hey, thanks, Jonathan. Um, so I'm going to be showing you this wonderful table setting you could do for really anybody coming over, your relatives, anybody. And uh, first, you're just going to want to clean your table. Just get some water and a rag and just wipe it up as best you can. And we're just going to get it all nice and clean so that we can set the table. All right, so we're just going to start with a styrofoam plate because Thanksgiving is stressful enough. We don't need to add dishes to that. I'm going to write somebody's name on it so they know where they're sitting. So I just wrote a very French name. It's pronounced Bethide. So we're just going to want to take a little bit of butter and put it on the plate because people are going to want butter. Uh, and you're just doing them a favor by putting it on their plate already. So we're just going to take it and just really use your hands and get in there and get it all over. And then we're just going to take this really festive fall holiday pumpkin mug and we're just gonna put it directly on top of the plate so they won't have to go searching for a mug it's just right there all right and then we're just gonna take the biggest knife you can find and uh, put it on the left side then we're just gonna take this like 
pitchforky fork and put it on the right side. Um, Thanksgiving is a time for eating, so you're gonna want the biggest utensils you can find. Uh, and then we're just gonna be using these turkey salt and pepper shakers that I have. You can also get them at Walmart for $95.95. And we're just gonna have them facing away from the plate because again, they're scared of Thanksgiving and oh my gosh, there's turkey on the plate. No, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, there is turkey. We're gonna hide over here. You could just like play with them. It's really fun. All right, so we're just gonna take a napkin here, but we're gonna utilize everything and we're gonna write on the napkin a to-do list so that people don't forget what they have to do after they're done eating all of their turkey. It can really mess with your mind. You should be good. There's your fall Thanksgiving table setting. All right, back to you, Jonathan. Wow, Siobhan, that was just, that, that, that was very festive. All right, guys, now the first craft that we're going to be doing today, you need three paper bags, piece of construction paper, oh, a marker, uh, a tape, uh, some kind of glue stick or tape will work, uh, and then a stapler, okay? All right. Now what you want to do is that you're going to cut out bone shapes. There's a template and the link is down in the description if you just want to download it, print it, and cut it out. They're perfect, um, just like uh, this YouTube channel. So uh, subscribe if you uh, think we're perfect as well. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these out. Then the next step might be a little uh, difficult for most of you to understand. So you're going to cup your hand, uh, open a paper bag, and then hit it uh, so it makes a little rounded shape. Okay, and you're going to take your glue stick or your tape or whatever you want to use. You're going to put it on the inside of the paper bag, okay? And then you're going to take one of your bones and you're just going to uh, uh, put a little bit of glue on there so it sticks nice. And then you're just going to put it right inside of the bag. See, I'll show you. See, you just stick it right there and it's just got to go right there. Okay, perfect. Now, at this step, you can write your name on it and it can be... Uh, table setting for your table so you know that this is your seat and no one's going to take your prime seat for the turkey and uh, yes yeah, look it's, it's looking already very festive okay so then you're just gonna fold these ends over fold those over so they don't go everywhere all right uh use the very festive stapler uh staple it and there you go look you got a turkey leg and then that's uh, not staple okay good you got a turkey leg so now you can just put this on your plate and now people will know where you're sitting and they'll know that you're very important and they aren't. Okay, now the next craft, you're gonna need these types of paper. It's a wet, a brown, a gold or a yellow, a red and an orange, a marker, a glue stick, and I think I use double-sided tape later. And then you're just gonna need two small glasses. I use um, uh, miniature glasses, yeah. Okay, so now you're just going to draw on the pieces of the paper like this. The brown paper, you're going to draw circles. The other colors, you're going to draw um, uh, like shapes like leaves. Because leaves are uh, very festive, very festive indeed for uh, Thanksgiving. Yes, um, uh -huh. uh, they're just, the leaves are uh, second to pumpkins uh, in the very uh, festive, in the festivity scale. Yes, um, so you're just going to cut those circles out, all right? And this is what's going to make the turkey's head. You're just going to take your leaves, you're going to arrange them like this. I'll show you in just a second. Okay, here you go. And you're just going to staple this so that they stay nice and secure. Very nice. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do that to the other one. Good, good. Okay, now we got both. Now we're going to take our turkey heads. We're going to use the white paper again to make the turkey's eyes. Make sure that they're sized proportionally. Okay. Alright, good. Now we're going to use some of the leftover red paper and make the gizzards. They're just kind of like squiggly lines, kind of like drops of blood. Yeah, drops of blood. Alright, I'm just going to put those on there. I'm going to use a little bit of gold or yellow paper that I had left over. I'm going to cut them into triangles to make the beaks. Okay. And we're just going to quickly glue all of this on. Good, good, excellent, excellent. Our turkeys are looking very fetching. Okay, now I'm just going to take my marker and I'm going to draw pupils on the eyes. Alright, now I just put some double-sided tape on the leaves and put them on the back of the uh, miniature glasses. Yes, the miniature glasses. Look, they're already looking very festive. Okay, now some more double-sided tape on the turkey heads. And those are just going to go on the front of the glasses. Okay, and look, now you got some very festive drinks. Yeah, it's very nice. Since our jello has already been cooled for the last uh, uh, 24 hours, or however long you decide to keep it in there, these are the lemons that I made. They're very offensive. Even though lemons aren't in season, don't let people tell you that they're not offensive. 
uh, same as strawberries, the strawberries look very delicious as well. They're not in season, but, you know, they're still very festive. With all these crafts that you can you can make for this uh, Thanksgiving season, like the turkey leg, the uh, turkey miniature glasses, and the pumpkins, you're uh, gonna have a very festive house for uh, Thanksgiving, and people are going to wish that they were over at your house for Thanksgiving, but they're not.